Gary, a point against Leighton Orient, should it have been all three? Um, well, firstly, uh, what a good game, um, you know, from the, the neutral point of view. Uh, first half, I thought we were very, very good. And I thought with the chances that we created, we could have come in maybe three, four up. Um, and on top of that, you know, Coley's made an unbelievable save, and a world-class save as well. But we. We've given away a cheap goal, in my opinion, at the far post from a set play, which has given them the momentum going into the second half. But, um, you know, the performance first half was outstanding. Second half, we started the game sloppy from the kickoff, um, and they had a real good spell uh, during the second half, Orient, to, uh, you know, to dominate periods of that. But, um, yeah, look, it's 2-2, two -two. we're disappointed. But we're disappointed when we're playing a team like Orient. Um, so that just shows you the standards and um, the levels of performance that uh, we're looking from our group of players. Do you think that moment at the end of the first half when they got a goal back was crucial? Yeah. If you go in 2-0 mm -hmm. at half time, it's a different story maybe? Yeah, yeah. I think it was a big turning point in the game. Um, that was set plays, we gave too many set plays away in the first half, which, you know, we're not the biggest team in the world. And then, you know, we looked at it yesterday, uh, and we cha in fairness we changed one or two personnel, and it was a uh, it was a hard one because we we played so well first half. You come in two 0 you know the whole game, the whole complexion of the game changes, uh, but you give them some momentum going into the second half. It had been a brilliant start, high in high intensity, two superb goals, as you rightly say, the whole stadium was in raptures at what they were seeing. Well, it was fantastic from you know from the supporters to the players on on the field of play, but we've got to score two worldy goals, uh, and they were worldies as well from both the lads. But you know the goals we conceded today were were cheap again, and we could have dealt with them better. But um, yeah, I think that the turning point was uh, their first goal. And then right on half time, Orient could have been level. You already used the word. I've written it down. Unbelievable. Yeah. That was an incredible save. I don't know how he saved it. Um, a world-class save. Don't matter what level it is, it was. That's what it was. And how he's Coley's done that is incredible. But you know, we had chances there. We had um, Rowie's header uh, and a scramble. You know, as well. If that goes in, look, it, 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 cha it changes changes everything for us. But uh, an unbelievable save. You said the, the team started the second half a little bit sloppily. What what was missing? What were you looking for that wasn't there? We wanted to get a grip of the game um, and manage the game better, and we do. We weren't able to do that. Um, you know, they changed, you know, shape as well uh, during that second half as well, and uh, we had to adjust accordingly. But um, we didn't really stamp our, our 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 game on the second half, which is disappointing. But it, it seemed as though Orient had a head of steam at the end of the first half and beginning of the second. But did it feel like we maybe weathered a bit of a storm? And then the game goes into a different phase in which they equalise. Yeah, we changed. We we had to change because of they had a, a real period where they dominated. So we changed. But you know, it's never over until it's over. But you think you've weathered the storm as such. But um, you know, we could have dealt better with their second goal as well. So uh, I won't go into that. But we should have done better on that. Also. Another positive this afternoon. He was named man of the match. The return of Manny Oyeliki back to something approaching his best. Do you feel? I thought he was outstanding. Uh, he, I'm disappointed because he, he, he was never going to last the game, and he can't last the game because if we were taking him into the final, you know, ten minutes of the game, it, we risk losing him for a period, a long, a longer period of time. He's been out for a while, and we miss him. He's a he's a talented player. He was he was excellent today. Um, but yeah, I wanted to I wanted to keep him on as long as I could. But um, you know, we had to we had to bring him off in the end. Uh, but I thought he was excellent. The formation that in which he, he slotted back in with James Rowe and Jim Kellerman sort of pushed on down the flanks in support of Matt McClure, that seemed to be working really well. It's not those pos positions for those two players are not something that they're used to, maybe. No, but bearing in mind, we ain't got any wingers either. Um, so we're putting players in positions uh, that is foreign to them, but they've adapted well, um, and you've got to give them credit for the performances they're, they're, they're putting in at present, you know, and uh, we're disappointed. Um, after picking up a point against Orient, who, in my opinion, are going to go close because they're a good, good side. And that's, that's the, the thing that we need to remember, that 
there's frustration all around, I think, but... I think you can tell I'm disappointed and, <laughs> and, you know, we should be quite pleased with how we've played today, uh, especially first half. OK, we've picked up a point uh, at home. We want to win. We want to win our home games, I know that, but, um, you know, bearing in mind what situation we're in and what we're going through at present, you know, it's a good point. We've just won two on the road. We wanted to win in front of our home supporters as well, who I thought today were excellent. Um, so, all in all, Disappointed because we played really well and we could have put ourselves in a real good position at half time, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you.